Hello everyone, welcome to SFS channel. In this tutorial, we will go through how we can set up a static website using Node.js. It's actually really simple and uh, later we will in a future tutorial we will host this website in Heroku also. So we'll explain that in a subsequent lesson. So these are the steps involved in creating a static website using Node.js and we will run it locally to verify the result. Okay. So the first step is to initialize a Node.js project. Then we need to install all the dependencies that are needed for the Node.js project. In our case, we are just installing Express. That's the only dependency needed for us to run the website. And uh, then we will add a boilerplate HTML. Uh, we will just add a simple HTML file to make sure that uh, the website is displaying that is static HTML content and then we will run it locally yeah let's get started so currently i'm in a particular folder as a wizard folder so i am going to initially say node.js project here so we need to run npm init so it's asking me whether i just want to keep the project in my current folder a version uh, static website so this is a file that uh, will be executed when the project is starting so it's, it's going to be index.js file and i have already initialized it to uh, a github repository it has detected that okay it's, it's asking whether everything is looking good so i'm just saying yes so now if we check there is one package xml folder file file in the folder so now if we open this repository in an editor like VS Code, we can see that there is a package.json file. So this basically says that its main file is index.js file. And in order to, so the first step is to define that index.js file. So before we add in any dependency here, we have to make sure that uh, we, we have installed Express uh, as a dependency to this project. So we can do that here. So npm i, i stands for install, you can use either. So npm i express save will save is basically telling, telling you to save it as a dependency uh, to package.json while this is going on here uh, we can go ahead with the next steps so here if we go uh, let's assume that the express will be ex express dependency will be installed parallel in the background so the next step is to uh, import the express dependency into the application so for that we'll be using this line require express so at this point we have loaded the uh, dependency the next step is to initialize an application using this imported express so now actually that's all that you needed to initialize an express application uh, but uh, we have to make some content available right so for that uh, uh, let's keep all the content in a public folder and uh, uh, let's add a html file also here this will be the file that we are going to display in our static html website so if you just select this it will fill in some boilerplate code so we'll be using this to power our sf wizard website in future So our website doesn't really have anything. It just have uh, it just has the uh, title as yes, a wizard there. So the next step is to uh, make sure that this static folder, this public folder, is getting served when the Express server is started. So for that, we also we have native tags in 
express you can just use uh, express dot uh, static of public so it's basically telling express framework to take the content inside public folder and uh, uh, render it in the website so next we need to uh, start this web server in a port so here we need to tell our application to we can specify any port here so this is the method that will be executed when um, when this application has started so we can say we can just say application is started yeah that's all we need to start a static website so now in order to start this website you need to run this index.js file uh, let's go to our uh, JS file here we can see that the express is express dependency is installed let's clear the console and do not index.js so you can see that the application is started immediately so now the next step is to go to local host 3000 that's the port where we we are running the web server so here we can see that our website is up and running just to make sure that uh, this is coming from the Node.js code that we have written we can go back to our editor and uh, change this content so now, now since it is already running we just need to go to the website and uh, hit reload so here we can see the new content so this is how we can create a, a static website using node.js and these are the steps we followed we initialize the node.js project we install all the dependencies uh, then we added some static site code in our case it's just an index html index.html file and then we ran it locally so these are all the steps that are needed to create a static website using node.js in future lessons we will extend it further and we will host this website in heroku so we'll go through all those uh, tutorials so in the in the meantime uh, for additional lessons uh, please subscribe